Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey and this is your August pick a card predictions. I've got three stacks of cards. The first stack has a beautiful angel um, aurora crystal. The second one has um, a pyramid and the third one has a beautiful blue heart and I have extra cards here from an oracle deck that we're going to pull just for extra guidance at the end um, for each stack um, I, I feel like we're going to need it this month and August is going to be um, really difficult uh, month for some people not for everyone um, but for some people it's going to be difficult so I figured I would throw in an extra card let me light my candle here. It's not lit and I hope everyone out there is having a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed, blessed month. Let me ring my bell. Before we do that, let me quickly say, guys, give this video a thumbs up, a like, uh, share it, um, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment. It helps the algorithm here on YouTube um, for these videos to be seen. Now, let's dive in and see what's going on for you. These are messages for you, depending on what stack you pick for the month of August. So I ring my bell, asking my spirit team to step forward. We'll just move these over, because we will be drawing a card from those. We're going to start with the, um, the Aurora Angel Crystal first. So I'll slide these back. Also, if you chose this stack, let's see what's going on. You've got the Great Adventure. You've got the Magical Powers card. You've got Transformation. And you've got the Empress with Archangel Gabriel. So what is going on here? Let's see what's going on here for you this month. So let's go through each one of them. So our first one is take risks and venture forward. So there's a great adventure that is lying for you this month. If you allow yourself and remove, if you allow yourself to move out of the fear, the worry and the doubt, you can move forward and take this great adventure so this is all about taking a risk something is coming up where you're not sure whether you want to go forward or do you want to stand still you're not sure if you, maybe you want to move you're not sure if you want to take the risk right now and leave your job to pursue your own dreams you're not sure about a lot of things in your life right now but spirit is saying listen this is a time that you must take the risk and move forward for this great adventure to take place in your life so don't be afraid to make the changes that are necessary um, to build the dream life or to pursue your goals or your passion in life so take a risk this is what life's all about or otherwise you stand still and you do nothing and you end up years later having regrets so don't have any regrets in life at least you have taken the risk and you tried and even if you failed at least you tried but this is saying a great adventure lies ahead so take the risk and it's telling you right here in the card it couldn't be any more clear your next card is magical power so this is um you need to regain your intuition you need to bring the, the the magic back into your life so light a candle gaze into that candle this month um manifest uh, look in it and uh imagine um that you're manifesting um your dreams and goals of the things that you want to accomplish letting go of the fear the things that you want to release this can be done on uh, a full moon or a new moon um, or any time that you feel like you need to sit down and uh, connect this is like a reconnection to spirit maybe you've 
let that go by the wayside. Maybe you're not trusting yourself. Maybe you don't believe in yourself anymore or um, the superpower that you do have, that we all have to create and manifest on this planet. So Spirit is telling you this is a time to regain that magic, to regain um, your uh, divine connection to tap into that because we're always connected but sometimes we feel like we're disconnected so you may be feeling a disconnect um, from that and you need to tap back into that so listen to your intuition listen to your gut feeling listen to what you're going to be um, getting pay attention to how your body feels during this um, powerful time here in August You've got the transformation, so there's a big transformation that is taking place. It's telling me something is ending in your life, and a new beginning is taking place here. So you're going through a transformation, and this could be a, on a spiritual level. This could be on a mental, physical level. Something could literally be um, changing in your life, like I said in the beginning. You deciding whether you want to change jobs, or you want to let this person go. Or do you want to move or do you want to invest or whatever it is. There's something ending and something new beginning here um, with this big transformation. So there's a big transformation. Maybe you're letting go of the fear, worrying, doubting. You know everything is going to be okay. And you get this peace, this sense of peace and um, divinity that comes over you this month. So make sure you're paying attention, listening. Um, uh, to what your body's saying, the information that's coming through, how you're feeling. Um, if your body says you need rest, rest. If your body says, you know, you're hungry, eat. Um, if you feel like you get a download that says, man, I, I, something that comes across your um, thought process that says, oh, I need to take a walk out in the woods or I need to go for a hike or whatever it is, do it. That is your intuition guiding you. Your next card is the Empress, and we've got Archangel Gabriel here. So this is all about um, giving birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself and others, and lavish abundance. So it's there. It is possible to have this um, divinely protected with this card, with Archangel Gabriel. Again, um, birthing these new ideals, letting um, your dreams and your um, goals and your true heart's desire take the forefront this month in August. This should be your purpose uh, or your soul focus this month. And not on the drama, not on the chaos, but on the um, transformation that you're making in your life this month. Which is big. So let's pull a card for you from the Oracle. Let's see. What other information wants to come through? Oh, you can't make this up. It says, believe in your dreams. Aim high. Honor your brilliance. Remember you have help. So again, your focus should be on your dreams this month. This is what you should be working towards. Not what's going on in the world. Ain't nothing else, but this should be your focus. Because if you let anything else in, you're going to fall into the fear, worry, and doubt and get caught up in the drama. So remember to aim high. Honor your brilliance. Remember you have help. That is an angel. There, that's helping you. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your guidance. Listen to what your body is telling you. When your body says, I'm thirsty, drink. When your body gives you information or a thought stream of, of doing something, do that. That is your intuition. That is your angels. That is your guidance there. So play close attention to that. Okay? So we're going to move on to our second stack, which is the beautiful pyramid that we have here. So let's see if you chose stack number two. What cards do we have here? 
we got choosing your path we've got the harmony card we've got the universe and we've got the seven of fire and we'll be choosing a card from the oracle deck at the end and see what other information we can gather okay let's see your first card is choosing your path all is possible so you see the guy standing there you're at a you're at a, a destination point where you're going to be making some choices here this month that's going to come up and it could be something of choosing where you're going next and how you're getting there and who's riding along is going to be on for the ride so lots of choices and decisions coming up for you this month changes are definitely on the horizon for you know that all is possible whatever the decisions you make because something needs to change in your life something is gotta give and you're feeling this with the next card harmony um, you're feeling like something has got to change you've got to release you've got to clear out you got to set your uh, horizons on a new path whether it's your career whether it's a, a, a partnership um, whether it's just moving something's got to give here because you've got the harmony card next and that's telling me this is what you so much desire in your life right now is peace and harmony and i feel like you've been you are burdened by a lot of things maybe you're uh letting, letting lending your energies and yourself out way too much maybe you're taking on the burdens of the fear worry and doubt but you need to release and let go this month. You gotta do it. You just gotta let it go so you can have more harmony and peace. Because things are out of whack. Your energy is um, not flowing as you would uh, love to have it flowing. Um, things are obstacles, challenges, things of that nature are popping up. So we got to bring in that harmony this month. So you've got to make some decisions, whether you um, allow someone to uh, make the decisions for you, or you take the reins, the bull by the reins or the horns, and you make your decisions, and you set the boundaries, and you choose what you will do moving forward and the choices that you make whether you want to change jobs whether you want to create your own business whether you want to do what it is that you want to do because you have the beautiful new card of the universe that's coming up next for you and it's telling me there are much rewards waiting for you you've come a long way on your journey a very long way and you're about to get a payoff here for something that you've been working hard towards so um this is what the universe is it's time for travel travel and maybe in a new direction because something has come to a completed cycle it's telling me that you are divinely protected at this time also so know that the universe is divinely protecting you the universe is divinely guiding you at this point in time in your life you're at almost like a pivotal point of making um some big decisions and choices in your life and um again we're going back to all things are possible if you so if you want to make that big change in your career in your love life in your home whatever it is in your um belief systems anything now is the time um to do that and it will be occurring um, these changes will occur so know that you are divinely guided divinely protected um, you've completed a cycle and um, just just rewards are right around the corner so if you've been working towards something um, one particular thing in your life don't give up it's right around the corner you've got the seven of fire so this is all about standing your ground and choosing your battles wisely again choose those about to me this is like choosing your battles wisely do you want 
to be in this fight? Do you want to be in the drama? Do you want the harmony and the peace? Are you willing to let it go? Or are you willing to stand and fight? So this is going to be, a, a, like I said, a pivotal point, a choice and uh, decisions that are going to be yours this month to make. Whether you choose to um, stand and continue fighting and stand in, in the chaotic drama and the chaos. Or you just say, hey, you know what? I'm moving on and focusing on my harmony and peace of mind and my dreams and goals. So the choice is going to be yours. But let's pull cards from this Oracle deck and see if we can get any more guidance for you. And his energy healing, physical, emotional, ancestral healing, circ circulate life force. So this is a time for you that you could receive the energy healing, bringing in the harmony um, in your life. So physical, emotional, ancestral healing is possibly taking place at this time. Um, so allow that to come in. Take some time to sit with yourself. Meditate. Be in nature and there's a way to shake it all off um, when uh, you feel like your energy is drained or you feel like you just need to re-energize and um, reevaluate uh, choices and decisions. Be in nature. Sit in the um, in the meditation. Ask for clearing of your energy. Invoke the archangels. That's, they're there. Invoke your spirit team. To help with this energy healing. You may feel this in your chakras. And uh, particular points in your body. Or you just may feel it in your body. Period. Or um, you know. How you feel the energy the tingling. Um, the third eye vibrating. The chakra. Your top of your head tingling. Um, the spirit. That is the angels connecting with you. Allow this energy to heal. Allow your energy to heal. Accept it. Call it in. Cleanse. Make sure you're cleansing your energy. And clearing. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. And we're going to go into our third stack with our beautiful heart on it. We'll see what you guys chose. Valiant Courage. Creativity. Choose wisely. And the four of water. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. What's going on with you guys? And then we'll pull a card from the intuitive deck at the end to gain some more information. You got the Valiant Courage card, so it's time to take action with passion anytime you take action you try to want to take it with passion you don't want to come out mad angry and fighting you know how you get so mad that you like i'm gonna change this i'm gonna change it and i'm gonna make it different that kind of anger is so powerful not the kind where you want to go out and hurt yourself or hurt someone else i'm not talking about that kind of anger i'm talking about the anger that you go out and to make the changes for you so that is the powerful that's when you get things done um so have this courage have courage to speak up for yourself have courage to um, make changes and decisions for yourself without depending on anyone else have courage and um know have courage to know that your strength and fortitude will uh get you through any kind of challenge, any kind of obstacle that uh, arises in your life at this time. Spirit is saying, get creative. You got to use that imagination. Use that imagination and get creative. Let your creative side come out this month. It's really going to help with your, um, if you have any anxiety or uh, uh, 
fear, worry, and doubt, or anything like that going on, you need to get creative. Whether it's um, painting, um, pottery, um, hiking, whatever it is that brings out your creative side, you must do that. What is your passion? Do something that's passionate for you. Stay out of the drama and the chaos. Let it be. Work on yourself this month. Spirit is singing. Work on yourself so get creative. Do something. Buy one of those paint by numbers kit and do a painting. Um, uh, do a puzzle. Buy something that you love. Uh, like a puzzle or something like that. Uh, my sister likes to do the puzzles. Of course I tried to paint by numbers. Um, it's been very uh, fun and creative. So you've got to find your creative. Use your imagination. If you're in a, a wit or jam or something you've got to use your spirit is that saying use your create uh your imagination because something will come to you here we've got um to choose wisely so you may have a different a lot of choices happening maybe you are things are pointing in different different directions it's like one moment you're you're decided on this and you think you know this and then the next day it's like I don't know crap I'm not sure about this uh, so something's coming up that's trying to I don't want to say disillusion but you're not quite sure about something or someone that's happening or going on in your life um, at this time, it's very saying choose wisely, wisely. So sit with yourself to make those choices. Choices, and it could be something with your career or your job or um, finding a home. Whatever it is, you need to choose wisely and make sure that uh, you've read all the information, got all the facts. You know, just read the fine print. If it's any kind of documents. Make sure you're reading everything because something important is happening here and you need to make sure you're making the right choice. You and you alone. Yes, you can you get advice? Of course you can get advice from other people, but the ultimate choice and decision all comes down to you. The four of water, missing opportunities, contentment and boredom, opening your eyes to the possibility. Something didn't particularly work out here. When I see this card, I see something that didn't particularly work out that you're not really happy about. You know, it's like, shit. Um, this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But that's okay. This is not the end of the world. Um, this card is is always um, saying it's not the end of the world. There's still opportunities and possibilities. So many um, opportunities to come. So don't let one um, missed opportunity or something that didn't turn out your way spoil and ruin, you know, the rest of your life. Because you know when stuff happens like that, that is the universe. Making sure that you don't get the wrong job. Making sure that um, an opportunity is passed or this job was passed. You didn't get this job because something better is waiting. Or you didn't get that house you wanted. Or you didn't get that rental apartment because something better is waiting. That is how the universe works. But sometimes we just go off the deep end when something doesn't work out our way. And we think it's like, oh God, the universe is working against us. No, the universe is trying to get you to where you want to be in life. So sometimes things don't turn out the way we want them to. That's because there's a different plan. There's a different way. Um, it's going. It's going to be uh, going about in a different way for you. And that's what the universe um, does. So let's pull a couple of uh, one card here and, and gain some more information or something you really need to know at this time. For the month of August. This is deep stillness. Meditation, inner devoid, awaken within, inner space. So this is a time with all everything that's going on with you this month. This is where your most your answers 
your inner guidance, your angels and your team are going to connect with you. If you can sit still, whether it's in a forest, in the woods, in your home, find a little quiet time and sit with yourself. Let the ugly feelings come up. Let the ugly thoughts come up. Let them pass. That's how you get past that. Let them go. Just observe and let go. And say move on. Because your answers are going to come. When you sit still. Meditate. Before you go into meditation, ask your question or while you're in meditation, see it in your mind. And listen to the answers that come. Okay? That is your guidance. I'm going to leave you with that, guys. Hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friends, and namaste.